and good afternoon. Thanks for joining us on Vacation Station TV. And once again, yes, we are in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee for the 2020 Fall Rod Run that is really getting underway right now. Being it is Wednesday, the cars are definitely starting to come in. And I told you that the parking lots would be full. They're just about full. So if you happen to have a, a hot rod or some sort of specialized car, then you need to get up here. You're not going to have yourself a slot to show your car. So why don't we take a break and we'll be back right after this on Vacation Station TV. And we're back and we are in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee at the 2020 fall rod run that is going on now. Technically, it doesn't officially get all uh, on until Friday, Saturday, Sunday, but being today is Wednesday, this is the time to get here and kind of cruise over the cars because a lot of them are here, a lot more coming in, but what you can do is you can look them over and then you can kind of see which one you really want because a lot of them are kind of off to the side. They're not all pulled up front yet. So you can kind of talk to these guys and maybe work out a deal that you're, you, maybe you guys can come to some agreement. And with me today, I have the other half. How are you today? I'm good. Yeah. And you excited about seeing some of these new cars that we've seen already? Yeah. yeah. I've seen a lot of tourists coming up. Lots and lots of tourists are here today. The roads are now officially just about, let me, let me turn around and show you this here. Okay. This is pretty much, now this is nothing compared to what you're going to see when you get here uh, on weekend or even tomorrow. I mean, today this is kind of mellow or, or benign as far as the traffic goes, but this will be literally bumper to bumper both sides. And that's why I suggested to you, actually Marie and I suggested, uh, you find yourself a parking space or at your hotel and take the trolley around. The trolley will take you by all these cars. It'll take you by the entire rod run so you won't miss a thing. I wanted to show you some of these newer cars that come in here. Here's a Chevelle. There's a nice tea, nice tea bucket. popular this year at the Rod Runners of the, uh, the SS's. They're, uh, it's a popular car. Nicely, very clean. Whoever did this did a fine job on it. Let me show you the inside for you uh, SS fans. Looks fairly original. Pretty original. Yeah, I would say right down to the cigarette lighter. The automatic transmission. The, um, the leather seats. They do look original to me. A nice car, fast car. It even has looks like the original heating system or a. Oh, that's the AM FM. Surprised it's still in there. Cal induction. Yes. Over here, check out this. Oh, we saw this one the other day. Yes. It? Yes. yes. So it's a nice. I'm surprised he hasn't sold you. This is really a sweet truck. The, the weekend is still early. It's a 50, what is this, 50? It's nice, very nice. They do not put. 51. Well, yeah, that's what I put on mine. This one I want to show, this one's new in town. 57 Chevy, nice color gold. Uh, never seen one quite like this. And you can hear a guy trying to start his car in the background. Hope he didn't have it for sale, because that's a real turn off to he wants to buy a car. Look at the inside, the, the, the tufted interior. Oh, the tufted interior. Look at that. Cushiony. Yeah. Look at that. Looks like a living room in an Italian's house. My family. Like I'm going to my aunt's house. <laughs> Doesn't it? <laughs> Look at that. Let me get over here. <laughs> That's really nice. 
Was that all custom made? Oh yeah, that's that's all custom in there. Yes, sir. He's chromed out a lot of stuff in there, but really nicely done. It's really sweet looking. Definitely different. This one's new. Uh, in the last couple years, I haven't seen this guy around here. Let's look at the engine. Very nice. 350 small block. Look at that. Really good job. Um, doesn't say it's for sale or anything, but it's nice. Pretty car. 57 Chevy, one of the most popular cars ever made. 55, 56, 57, but 55, 57 the most. There's a, what is that? See, they're coming in. And as you can see, the traffic. Check it out. All the way back there. This is just Wednesday. <laughs> oh, yeah. And there's more over here. Trying not to spin. Here we are at the 2020 Full Rod Run. Very nice 57. Another one. This is one of the most popular cars ever. And you can see why. Easy engine compartment to work on. You can easily lean in this thing. I mean, if you're not putting a giant blower in or something like that. But this is an easy car to work on, even in the front. As you can see, lots of room to work. Put all your amenities in. You can do what you need to do here. Let's check out the inside. Nice. Nice. All right, let's go on over here. And this is 55. Another Chevy. A little bit bigger, a little more. Uh, yeah, it's a 55. 502. It's got a 502 in it. That's definitely a, a big engine for this car, but it seems to work. It obviously works in here. He's moved the battery case up. A bigger radiator. Not stock, but nice. It's got, got to cool it. That's a big, you know, the 402 is big. It's got to be kept cool. You can have it for $50,000. Right there. 50 grand and it's yours. Nicely added um, the decorations, the backgrounds. Very nice. So if you're making your plans to come up to Pigeon Forge in Tennessee, uh, do remember to go to our videos and find the shortcuts. The shortcuts will take you, that the word should explain it, shortcut. Because if you get stuck on this here, this is just Wednesday. Let me tell you something. On Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, you probably should just park your car and walk because you're gonna waste an hour, two hours just going a few hundred yards. No exaggeration. Been here long enough to know I don't take my car out during those days. I come in, go to the grocery store, take the trolley, and come in here and do what I have to do because it's just easier. Otherwise, you're gonna get so frustrated. So go to our videos at Vacation Station TV and look for shortcuts to Pigeon Forge. It'll give you the uh, very clear way to get here and save yourself a whole lot of aggravation. Now, let's turn this thing around and look around. Hey, put the rubber beside the truck so we'll put the stuff on it. Cars are being sold, cars are being traded all around me right now. And it's not even the... Uh, In with, uh, they're coming in with their trike, as you can see. Another one up for sale. Most likely sale or trade. Yeah, everything is kind of sale or trade. These guys like to bargain. They like to work around things. The 40 Chevrolet Coupe, sale or trade, 16.5 or best offer. Uh, his Ford, what is this? Definitely the engine has changed in this bad boy. Is a 44. 44. I'm going to debate that. <laughs> I am going to debate that. Um, 
and please somebody correct me if I'm wrong, but I didn't think they were making cars in 1944. They were still in the war and all the cars, there were no cars, they're making tanks and guns and cannons and stuff. So, I, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but I, I don't think I am. Ooh, nice. Very nice. Look at that. Starliner. You don't see the Starliner as much. Look at that angle on that. Look at that. How long this car is. About 127, 130-inch wheelbase. And of course, there's his, I think it's a 1938 Mac with the dog. The obligatory dog on there. He's He's got it made. It is for sale. Tell me that isn't cute. And I think he said this was a 32. 32 prison bus. Look at that. Now you know that's bad boy right there. Look at that. This is the inside. I didn't get to see the inside of this last time, so I'm really glad he opened these doors. And this is what, if you were in North Carolina, this is how you went to prison. This is how you went to prison. Look at the handcuffs hanging from the top. So where, however far you had to go, you were in handcuffs. So I'm sure you were surrounded by a guard or two or three or four. And the shotgun kind of said the business it was going to do if you, if you acted up. Wow. Very nice. So you've been looking at cars. What did you see that you like? Well, I noticed that um, some people that own cars here, yeah. they hired um, a cleaning and shine but there's, lady. There's a clean shine lady, yeah. yeah. She gets paid good too to clean. Well, I mean, if you got to show the car and somebody's going to wipe it down for you, why not? Right? Yeah. Then you could sit and talk and sell the thing. And some people are busy cleaning up their own cars. Right, right. Or they're negotiating deals. I've seen several big deals just go down already. They're uh, they're not even, you know, the rod run isn't even officially in and people are already making deals and loading up cars. A, two, a, a guy bought two cars right away and they're, they're trucking yeah, it out of here. Yeah, that two, uh, the couple there, the yeah. guy was... Um, He's getting everything loaded up and gone. That's something. So here we are at the 2020 Ball Rod Run in Pigeon Forge. Yeah. I wonder what do they do with it? They take it home, put it in their place, redo whatever they, uh, they need to be it. done. Or just turn around, bring it and sell it somewhere else. Sure. You can make a lot of money doing this stuff. You get the right deal, you can turn over 10, 20, maybe 10, 20 grand. Not bad. The trucking something somewhere. You know the uh, the prison bus. Yeah. It's on sale, right, by JR? No, he's not selling that. Oh, he's not. The uh, fire engine, he is. Now I don't know how much he wants for it. Now, if you if somebody buys it, mm -hmm. what are they gonna do with it? Just show it, most it? likely. Yeah, display it, show it, or turn it around and sell it. There's always somebody who's gonna want to buy it. There's always somebody with too much money in their pocket. <laughs> okay. Look at that truck. Let's That's look a truck, at. Right? It's a rat rod. Let's look at a rat rod, shall we? You're gonna see a lot of these here at the 2020 Fall Rod Run. The rat rods, they're always fun. Look at this. That's a beer keg that's turned into a gas tank. That's always neat. <laughs> Bend the camera down so you can see it. <laughs> uh, no luxuries in there. 
Look at not very comfortable seats, are they? It's not meant for comfort. It's meant for driving and having fun. You kind of race it, right? Oh yeah, I'm sure you could race this quite well. I'm sure this thing gets up and goes. <laughs> I bet this thing really goes. And noisy too, because notice the pipes. Here are the pipes. There's no muffler. That's straight out of the manifold, right out there. This thing is going to be loud. I'd love to get that on video. Look at that rat rod. It's for sale. 28 Dodge. 9,500 bucks. You can own it. The 28 Dodge, what's left of it. And then complete extreme from a rat rod, a 28 Dodge, to a Volkswagen. <laughs> a little Volkswagen. It's cute though. All sorts of vehicles here today. Give you an idea of the traffic. There you go. There. Give you an idea of the traffic that's coming in. This is from North 66 heading south, and it is only Wednesday. And you can tell it's already crawling along. It's not going very fast at all. But that's what's going to be. Now, this is, like I said, this is nothing compared to what the traffic will be like. This is actually moving compared to what is out there. And there's Marie. Let's see Marie in her outfit today. Hello. We get so many. No, people always want, they comment on, wow, she looks so cute. What is she wearing? I'm going to go in the traffic. Then you won't follow me. Look how cute she is. That's my wife. <laughs> She's so embarrassed. Do you want to say anything? Oh, no, I think I feel it. What time is it? Time for a super shout out. Super shout out. What do I hear? What is that noise? Don't you love the Super Shadow? Aren't they cute? We get a lot of comments on that. Had a lot of people think, even uh, George the Goose, Pet George Goose, got a shout out. Yeah. And now he's part of the shout out crew. You can be too. All you gotta do is, is subscribe, like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, then go to their places and do a like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> That's why we do it. You want to know? I've had people, some people ask. Yeah, Why we do all you do? appreciate you. We appreciate you and hopefully you appreciate us and we keep networking together and we promote each other's channel. That's what it's about. I see something nice, I'm going to say something on this video. Say, hey, I was watching this guy's or this girl's video and I liked it. Why don't you check it out? And some people, they don't have videos, but they still subscribe yes, to us. And yes, that's true. It's amazing. We are honored. I, I am very honored by the people that have subscribed and every and day it's going like our videos. Yes, lots and lots of comments. On, and but I think most of all, George. I think George, he's now a fan. George is a superstar. George is a YouTube official superstar. His last, oh, I forget which one it is. Um, one of the videos. Come on, you're on, let's go get that thing moving. <laughs> Come on, guys. What's your YouTube channel? Vacation Station TV. Okay. Check it out. Oh, yeah. You're on it. Oh, I am. <laughs> now you are. Now you are. Vacation Station TV. Vacation sure. Station. Check it out. Look at that. That's pretty. All right. What year is that? It looks like a really old hot rod. Yeah. Uh, what year is it? <laughs> it's supposed to be a 32 roaster. And it's actually like modeled after it, right? Yeah. That's really yeah. neat. Um, and I assume it's battery. I don't hear any engine. Yes. So it's a golf cart. Yes. That's neat. Oh, yeah. I, they've come a long way, haven't they? They, they have. From what they, we used to have to have. Right. You know, this standard. No, this saw this thing coming a mile away. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, that's really neat. Where are you guys from? Uh, Sydney, Ohio. You drove all the way down here. 
Yeah, it took a few days, but we made it. No. It took a few days <laughs> in this thing. Yeah. <laughs> I can stop and charge it every once in a while. Yeah, 50 miles. Yeah, yeah <laughs> kind of slow, but you got here. Oh, yeah. So what do you think so far of the early rod run? I've been here since Thursday. Yeah. You have? Yeah. Last Thursday. Yeah. 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 Not been, been too bad. No, not bad. The rain chased away some of the people. Yeah. There's nothing you can do about that. And today, we might get a little remnant of Sally. Just a little. And then tomorrow, right. football. Weather is on its way. Mm -hmm. Right. So you'll be here for the duration. Oh, yes. yeah. And did you bring a car with you? Yep. I brought a 32 Ford Roadster. Where is it? Back that it's way? It's down. Yep. Back down that way. That way. In front of where they're selling t-shirts at. Oh, I have to. And what color is it? It's uh, called ceramic gray, but it's like, it's like a bluish gray. Okay, a slate Can't gray. Blue. Yep. Very, and for sale and trade and all that stuff? Yep. Of course. Um, I've had people ask us on our channel, why sale and trade? What's the trade do for people? Well, sometimes you trade for something that is a little more desirable. Mm -hmm. Maybe somebody really wants what you got, and maybe you want what they got. And then it might bring you more money than what you already had. And you get what you want, they get what they want, yep. everybody parts as friends. Yep. Right. right. That's really neat. So if you right now had somebody to trade for your car, what would you be looking for? Oh, uh, I don't know. I love What's your little car. heart's desire want? I got what I want, but I don't know why I'm selling it. <laughs> because that's America. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> you got it, now I want something else. I guess if I trade me some money, I'd be all right with that. Well, always. That's a pocket full of cash is always wonderful. Right. But then you'll have that cash and be driving and go, oh, look at that. Yeah. I got to have that. <laughs> and how many times you've been divorced because of this, these cars? Oh, I've never been married or had kids. <laughs> I, you're smart. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure hot rods have broken up many a relationship. Oh, uh, I would think so. You yeah. know what I mean? Because some of these cars are 60, 80, 100,000. There was one down there, 144,000. If I came down to her and said, I'm taking a credit card out for 144,000, the papers would be signed already, stamped and sealed, and I'd be out of out. I'd be divorced oh, yeah. with a capital. I'd be living in a really nice car. Right. Yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God! Anyone you want to shout out to? No, I don't think so. We got uh, we got uh, Uncle Wendell. We got Uncle Wendell. Yep. He usually comes with us. And it's Uncle Uncle Wendell. Un Uncle Wendell. He usually comes with us, but he oh. couldn't this year. Okay, where is he? He's, he's home. His wife had surgery, okay. so he's taking care of her this week. Yeah. All right, Uncle Wendell, we wish you were here. We wish your wife well. Yes. And uh, we're taking care of everything that needs to be taken care of. Also, yes. remember, you can live in a car, but you can't drag race your house. Uh, uh, yeah. no, ooh. <laughs> That's the last words on the divorce paper. Yeah. I know. Yes. I, I think I've yes. seen that a few times. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you. No we'll problem. see you soon. That's Vacation okay. Station TV. All right. And I seen that just the other day. Thank you very much. Yes. I appreciate that. There you go. Some happy people. Good, good humored people, and uh, they're they're here to sell and buy and trade. How much more could you want out of life? Okay, right, let's go this way. Yeah. Well, they're coming more and more. They're coming in. That's what's really good. That's nice. You get the suicide door. <laughs> Not too sweet. I need a friend like this. <laughs> now, what is this? The Mercury. What year? 49. 49 Mercury. Yeah. Looks really nice. A really nice car. You know, that's uh, I can remember that here. I know you can too. That's when they built big boats that were fun to drive and sit in. Look at that. And he's obviously done some work for it. Nice. Look at that. Really sweet car. Oh, 49 Mercury. 49, that's what had the Oldsmobile, the 49 Oldsmobile. Just, just big boats back in the 40s. Only 20, that's not too bad, really. Really clean. Look at that. Got a Chevy motor in it. Probably, to me, it looks like a 350 small block. It's got everything you need. It really, you could drive this thing all day long. This is a driver. And behind me, phew, you turn around and there it is, a 57 Chevy black. Oh yeah. Look at this. Look at that. Oh, it's got the original radio in it. Look at that. Original clock, original radio, ignition, steering column. Kept it kind of pure. Kind of like that. Ooh. 
it's a driver. You can drive this. You can have it for 40 grand or best offer. Paint's in good shape. There's the trunk. You could lay down in it. Yeah, you could. You can easily. And then this still folds down. What, that one? That, that comes down. There's a little tool area in, in back there. And the, the tire should be under there. It's nice. That's a nice car. It's a driver. It's not too um, too hopped up where you'd be afraid to take it out anywhere. Here's another classic example of what grandma is not driving. Or grandma never drove this. This is definitely, you know, the two-door coupes, the Model A's, and the four doors, they are just so perfect for rotting out. Yeah, they look like a carriage. Yeah, that's where they were designed from because before these cars were carriages and they didn't they didn't even realize let me show you this see up on top the ridges mm -hmm. they first built the cars without them and the the roofs would cave in they they would buckle so they uh -huh. realized they had to put the rims in, the ridges in there to keep them stiff that's basically the inside of the car minus the little toy in there but that's that was it what you see so it's not custom yeah a little bit it is it's got power steering automatic transmission it would have had a standard stick but the the gauge panel uh -huh. pretty close to original pretty close look how he's got it that's nice that's a nice touch there with the leather straps yeah. that's a nice touch what's that just a design uh, yeah it, it's to hold the hood down because there's nothing here and I'm sure he has a panel that goes in there but it looks good it really looks good it's a nice touch it's actually for sale. For sale. Ford two door. Yeah, it's the uh, the two door they called it. The Ford two door, uh, 350 that's engine. It, that's why it looks like a carriage. Yeah, exactly, because it's very much like a carriage. It's got the Ford rear end, the Vega steering, four barred front end, uh, new interior, new tires, cold AC, power windows, AM FM stereo. Uh, only 36.6, which. You know, it doesn't say trade, but the price 36.6, you can almost always take 10% off a car for sale or anything like that. So you, you probably get it for 34. But it's a nice looker. It's a really nice looker. <laughs> now why is he your man? Because he gonna keep them from taking over the United States. Thank God. Smile. <laughs> Who do you want to shout out to? Uh, not too many people because everybody not Trump support, but we are. Oh. We are. <laughs> That's too bad. Take my picture, D. <laughs> Look at that. this. The 2020 fall rod run is so popular that President Trump is here to take advantage of all the cars and all the supporters. Very good. Where are you guys from? Jackson, Jackson Mississippi. Mississippi. And you got anyone? You want to say any uh, shout out to anybody? Oh, I don't know. To everybody in Jackson, I'm enjoying myself. We're having a great time with 2020. What? Prison. There you go. Look. <laughs> what a great picture you got there. You got a great picture there. Look at that. <laughs> Let me get a still. Okay. Just an idea of what you're going to see when you come to the 2020 Fall Rod Run in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. So hopefully you come on out here and join Marie and I as we bring to you the 2020 Fall Rod Run. And we'll be out every day. This is Wednesday. We'll be out again tomorrow, Friday, and then again on Saturday to uh, kind of wrap it up and let you see all the new cars that have come here. We've met many people, lots of good interviews, and we'll be sharing a couple of those interviews with you on this video. So make sure you tell your friends to like, comment, and subscribe to Vacation Station TV. And also, when they are subscribers, automatically they're on the list for super shout-outs. Right? And what do you want to say? We gotta um, thank all the viewers mm -hmm. and um, future subscribers come on in to our channel and uh, comment.
comment. Yeah, we like the comments. We got a lot, a lot of good comments the last few days. I can't believe all the cool comments you guys. Thank you for that. Even George the Pet Goose has commented how much he loves Vacation Station TV. That's got to tell you a lot, doesn't it? George the Goose. He's great. If you don't, if you get a chance, go Pet Goose George. Go to his site. You're going to love it. Other than that, we're going to wrap it up for this this show on Vacation Station TV. Get ready because you'll see right up over here the next video that you need to watch. And uh, then check us out tomorrow. We'll have another video on Vacation Station TV. See you real soon.